Hey guys, welcome to a new movie review. Today we're doing Arcadian, I think that's what it's called, with a new Nicolas Cage movie. Because everybody knows I'm a big Nicolas Cage fan. Had to see this. Also, horror movie. So, plus plus, I'm a big horror fan and a Nicolas Cage fan. So, and the movie looked interesting and looked good. So I was like, let's go. So, in general thoughts on the movie, I liked it. There is a couple of things I want to mention that I don't know what I feel about, but we'll get into it in the beginning in the movie. But overall, I think it was not bad. So let's get into it. Start off with, obviously, there are going to be spoilers in the video, so keep that in mind. Okay, so let's go. So, we have, starts off with Nicolas Cage as him, and stuff's going on, and he finds these two babies, and the world's kind of like, something happens to the world. I forget exactly what the whole deal is, but the world is like in a, not an apocalypse, but kind of like in a thing where like something happened, and the world is at night, there's like these creatures or something that come and attack. I'm going to get inside the house, because Nicolas Cage, then it cuts, well after Nick gets the babies, it cuts to a little bit into the future, where, into the future where the two kids he had are now teens, and he has to take care of them and all this, and he's taking care of them and stuff, and at night, the creatures come and attack them, and they have to board up the house and make sure everything's locked, so the creatures can come in. They eventually do, um, have to fight them and stuff later, but the one of the boys is going to this farm, this other farm. I forget what it's called. This one just this girl there that he likes. And that's kind of, I think, the reason. But also, they're like kind of nice people. But something happens to where he comes back one time. He goes off with his brother. He's like, hey, you need to go off with your brother, do this, and do the thing, do the thing. And he's like, hey, you can do it on your own. I'm going to go and go to the farm and meet with obviously the girl he likes and walk there and do stuff. So he does that. He's kind of like, you can do it on your own. He's like, yeah, I can. So he goes off. And does his own thing, he does that. And the butter comes back and says, like, hey, he's not here, da da da. And goes to talk to his father, Nicholas Cage, like, hey, butter's not back. Told him what happened, and then he goes after him. They also have a dog. But yeah, so they go after him, and then the butter, I mean, the butter, the dad and the dog, they find him. He accidentally on his way back from the other farm. He slips because it's like a little, like, I guess, like, cave, or, like, thing open up, like a hole, like a long stretch. I don't know if it's a cavern or whatever it's called. Well, he slipped and he fell into the cavern and he like hit his head or something and then obviously he got knife with the monsters around. So him and Nicolas Cage have to fight the monsters. Nicolas Cage uh, has to, basically the biggest thing where it blows up and he, like blows up or something in his arm or something gets blown up. He's really hurt bad and they have to go I'm like, hey, we need to go to the other farm to save him or make sure it's because they have medicine or something. We can save him. Da da da. That's the plan. They go there. I was like, "Hey, you can stay here. Cause we like you, but we will not, you know, give you mess or whatever." So he's like, "I don't want to stay with you. I'll go with you." But then he's like, "Then he stays." Also, the other brother is really smart. He got this like vehicle, or, like I was like, not tractor, but a little like little like vehicle. He got to run like a not tractor, it's like a RV, a little like uh, what's it called? Yeah, we have those things to call it, but one of those little like vehicles you can go around in, like a. A dune buggy or whatever you call it, whatever the thing is called, I forget exactly what the term is. But he got that to work and he's really smart at trapping. And at one point he does trap one of the things and then they definitely have to kill it because he gets let out and they have to kill it. But it's a good movie. Um, also at the end, when he goes over, the other brother goes to the friend's house. Not the friend's house, but the other person's place. He takes the thing of the medicine so he can like, yeah, I'm going to take this to go give it to my family. And I believe the daughter or the girl is like, hey, kind of true, but she's like, this is the right thing to do. I think, even though this is a different situation and we have less things, they do it. When he's leaving, the guy's like, hey, what are you doing? What you got there? He knows he got the pills or whatever. He's like, hey, go talk to her. It was okay. She gave him to me. And then they take him and they keep him locked up in this thing. And then the monsters are coming and they find out they're coming like through the ground. They come up and start attacking and all the other men who were there, other than the parents, start dying. And the parents do die as well. It's like, uh, they get attacked. The beasts come into the house and they attack the parents. And the one daughter is like alive and she makes it with him and then they go back to his house and there was the dad they're trying to get in and they're trying to survive and it's like yeah everybody died at that place and stuff it's great it's fun and then they have to fight then they're all brought up in the house and they have to fight these things it's kind of it's fun and, they, and the one brother's like smart and he's like we gotta do this 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 the dad eventually gets up and he has a shotgun and he's like going and shooting them and doing it's, it's, a, it's a fun movie the only part with the creatures i would say yeah i think i think they're like cgi creatures but they do this thing when they do the math and they go like and you spin the mouse and go, and then they go, really fast with the mouse. Like, almost to us, like, kind of that uncanny, like, it would be creepy if something like that came up to you and went, with the mouse. And it's really fast, dude. It's like, a fast, I can't do it as fast that they're doing it. Like, they chop with the mouse really fast. It looks weird, almost like they're having a weird, like, it looks weird, kind of when they, when they do that. When they turn off the mouse and they chop with the That looks weird, that's the part I'm like, that looks kind of weird, it doesn't look as, I, I don't know if it, like, it's one of the moments where I can't tell if that looks weird or not, or that looks like, it looks kind of weird, like, it looks kind of like, one of those things with the CGI looks kind of, I can't tell if it looks bad or good. 
like it kind of looked kind of goofy like it all looks everything else feels so serious and then that looks kind of like was a little goofy but i think it is kind of so if something like that was coming after you it would be kind of scary i think so not going to complain about that but i do think it looks a little cheesy when it does that attack thing but the rest of it looks fine but yeah so there's that and obviously next kid comes gets the shotgun goes starts shooting him and stuff and he basically sacrifices himself so they can escape and get out two brothers the dog and the one girl from the other camp who he likes get together and, and yeah so they all get to go off and it's fun i like it it's a it's a fun nicholas cage action like horror movie what you guys think of katie let me know in the comments down below let's get into the rating i'm gonna give this like a solid i would say an eight i think it is good i liked it i enjoyed it i had fun with it i think in the end i enjoyed it so what you guys think let me like i said let me know in the comments down below you can always stay up and see the next movie you guys bye guys